Have you ever thought much about the fact that the right to fail is as important as the right to succeed? If we didn't have bad weather, we could never really enjoy good weather. A person never really enjoys good health until after an illness. And I've never known a successful man or woman whose success did not hinge on some kind of failure. Now, there's an old saying which goes, it is impossible to succeed without suffering. If you're successful and have not suffered, someone has suffered for you. And if you're suffering without succeeding, it is so that someone may succeed after you or that you will succeed later. But there is no success without suffering. Success in the world, any kind of success, is like a universal college degree. It can only be earned by following a certain course of action for a definite period of time. It is impossible for success, real success, to be easy. In this way, nature makes success a kind of natural selection. Only those individuals who are willing to try again after their failures, those who refuse to let defeat keep them down for long, those who seem to have some strange inner knowledge that success can be theirs if they just stay with it long enough, finally win their success diploma in life. Men and women who succeed in life will tell you that many times, just as they felt they were finally reaching the point in life on which they had set their hearts, the rug was pulled out from under them, and they found themselves back at the starting line again. It's like swimming upstream, only to find yourself washed back down again, and not just once or twice, but many times. In this way, only those of great faith are given the rewards of success. Those who do not achieve great success in life are by no means failures. They're successful in their way because they have what they really want. They simply did not want great success enough, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's all a matter of choice. One day a young man came into my office and asked me the secret of success. He told me he wanted very much to make a great success of himself. I told him to decide definitely upon what he considered success to be for him and then work at it for 12 to 16 hours a day until it had been achieved. And when he wasn't working at it, to think about it. By doing this, he could reach his goal in perhaps five years or so. Or he could decide definitely upon what he wanted and work hard at it eight hours a day and achieve it in 10 to 15 years. But to achieve success, he must force himself back on the track every time he falls down, realizing that failures are as necessary to success as an excavation is to a basement. I never saw that young man again. I've often wondered if he took my advice. It is an unusual person whose desire is larger than the thought of the work involved. Successful people are dreamers who have found a dream too exciting, too important to remain in the realm of fantasy and who, day by day, hour by hour, toil in the service of their dream until they can touch it with their hands and see it with their eyes.